This is the 9015 CMOS color digital camera with WXGA performance on directly onto a 10 inch diagonal TFT screen. TFT uh, screens are ideal not only for their uh, high quality images but the fact that when you view these screens unlike uh, normal computer screens, LED computer screens, the brightness uh, does not change. It has a very wide acceptance angle so that people viewing at extreme angles sit, will see the image just as brightly as someone who's looking straight on. So the unit is all metal construction. This is all brushed aluminum. The bracket for tilting and adjusting the screen uh, to a comfortable position uh, is metal. The uh, unit is tiltable uh, and adjustable in height. The brushed aluminum housing for the camera and the die cast uh, uh, aluminum uh, frame with holes pre-drilled are easily connected and that's a good rugged uh, fitting here that you see. There's no plastic to metal or plastic to plastic connection. It's quite a nice unit. The back end of the camera we have a uh, SD card slot that uh, comes with a uh, 4 gigabyte uh, SD card when you buy the unit. There's an input for a 12 volt DC power supply, on off light, a uh, HDMI type connector, and a connector for the remote uh, camera control and shutter release for photomicroscopy. So this unit, uh, once we have it all set up, uh, is a simple connection to your C-mount adapter on your microscope. This is a C-mount 0.5x. Uh, for this particular microscope that we'll be uh, working with. And I'm going to adjust uh, my filming camera quickly for you. Hold just a moment. And we'll aim this up to include the camera port. And we'll take a look at some imagery uh, here on this particular Hund inverted microscope set up for phase contrast. So once we have the screen and the camera mounted to the microscope, we then can connect first the power, then we will connect the uh, remote control, then we will connect the included uh, HDMI cable that carries the signal from the camera to the displayer. And this is the only displayer you can use. There's no output for uh, big screens and there's no output USB for a computer. But here you can see uh, the image quality. This is a near HD image quality that you're seeing here. That's roughly 1280 by 800 which is technically WXGA performance and this is running at 60 frames per second. Which is really uh, nice because there's no herky-jerky uh, image delay. This is a 40x objective. We could also uh, dial it into lower power objectives, but <clears throat> with the remote control now we can control bring in the menu screen which will be displayed in the lower right hand corner and adjust the usual camera characteristics. Uh, thank you. Uh, such as contrast, brightness. We can also adjust red, green, blue and we have the ability to do a white balancing 
we can put in a white screen and uh, go to the white balance mode and let it white balance itself. Let's turn this up a little bit. And there's also an auto exposure mode. Let's come down to the photo mode. We can uh, take a photograph at any time. We just took a photograph right there. And for many industrial applications, we can come down and introduce these horizontal, up to four horizontal and four vertical. I'll go down and introduce a vertical line. Here you see we introduced a red vertical and if we hit both keys at the same time we can change colors and we can also move those lines. You see the red vertical line moving here. Thus we can set up go no go situations. Uh, we can set up counting grids of our own design with these four vertical four horizontal lines and those lines will be in the photograph which is nice so this is the 9015 uh, it's very reasonably priced it's C-mount so it's not proprietary to any particular microscope and uh, please feel free to contact us uh, for uh, detailed information pricing or your closest retail dealer thank you